So here we are yet again with the Crab Battle Royale. If you can even call it that. A lot has happened since my first review on this game, and I'm gonna go over a bunch of little things, including things that I missed in my first review. Be sure to check out that video if you haven't seen it already, just to get a better understanding of this game. But like I just said, I will address a few things that I talked about in my first review, but I'm gonna try not to repeat myself over and over like I just did. Anyway, I feel like the first thing I have to question about this game is a big deal, and even questions the whole identity of this game. I'm gonna break that down, but right before I do, let's talk about today's sponsor. Of course, we're chilling with the coldest water. And since this review is for King of Crabs, let's make this a beach theme sponsor. Let's say you're going to the beach and you want to be extra prepared or even need simple things like a bathing suit. Then you better believe the coldest water has you covered. You can get these very nice looking bikinis. And for my bros out there, you can get these comfortable and stretchy swimming trunks as well as the tank top to go with it to complete your outfit. There's also lots of little items and accessories that you would want to make a beach experience more enjoyable. Just like this spacious cooler to keep your drinks cold, and if you really want to keep those drinks cold while you're out in the hot sun, or if the drink just gets too cold in your hand, then check out this amazing soda and seltzer holder. Designed to keep your cans cold up to a 16 ounce can, you know crack open a cold one by the beach, if you're of age, it's these types of items that can make your outdoor or daily living better. Also things like hats, backpacks, and of course you can't forget their classic water bottles. If you're interested in any of these items, then be sure to check the first links in the description and to use my code for a nice discount and to support my channel. I appreciate you guys for listening, let's get back to the review. Okay, so like I was saying, this game might be a fraud. One of you brought it to my attention that this game might not even be a real battle royale. That person was actually my friend who makes pretty stupid comments often. He's actually an OG on the channel, but nonetheless, he left this comment that really made me question this game. So I looked up the definition of a battle royale, and King of Crabs only partially fits that description because there's no shrinking zone and there's no last man standing. There is survival elements, but what does that make you, King of Crabs? A survival deathmatch? I don't even think you can win individual games. You just go for personal high scores. What are you, King of Crabs? Well, whatever you are, I like it. Just like Battle Right not being a traditional MOBA, King of Crabs is not a traditional Battle Royale. Screw it if it's not a battle royale at all, I don't care. I don't even play battle royales, which is definitely why I like this game that claims to be a battle royale, but is missing very big features that makes a battle royale a battle royale. Like, this game has a system with lives, which makes dying less intense, but equally frustrating. I actually don't mind this system because you can't just be reckless with your lives, but it's also another thing that makes this game a more unconventional battle royale. Again, if you could even call it that. Either way, there's still many things that I enjoy about this game, like the ranking system. Speaking of things in this game that are done very differently than other games, we have this simple but fun ranking system. I like it because it's casual and all you have to do is grind it like a battle pass, which it basically is. But on the other hand, it's not really a ranking system. Like, this isn't based off skill or how good you are, it's just how much time you put into the game, really. Yeah, I don't know. It's like this game is trying to do everything differently that can appeal to people like me. But the thing is, I'm not like most people, at least when it comes to gaming. I think most people would want a legit ranking system and ranked mode without having multiple lives. But did you guys forget... This is a mobile port. Man, loosen up. It's not that serious. This is just a little crab game about crabs. It is what it is. That's sort of the mentality you have to go with when it comes to some of these games. Like, I'm here for fun. Not testing the best of my abilities in this silly little crab game. Why do you think you're able to become mega big and destroy anything in your path? 
because it's fun and I bet it looks cool to do on your phone. Oh yeah, going mega big is something I forgot to mention in my first review. You basically collect all the letters that spell mega big to become mega big, and then you become an unstoppable beast for about a minute. This is a pretty fun and random mechanic in the game, but one that's more fair and makes me question the game a little bit is becoming the king. All you have to do is become the number one player in the match and you get bonus stats. But even better, the game tells you where these king chests are to get really good items. This I think is more fair and rewarding to earn, but the reason why I question it is once you become the king, then what? You just kill everybody and you can get a higher score? Like, you seemingly can't win games and I can see why some people wouldn't like this. I personally don't mind the survival aspects of this game, but I can see why Battle Royale fans wouldn't like it. I just enjoy the grind and longevity this game has. I like doing things like my quests and leveling up my crabs. Speaking of that, I also wanted to talk about some of my first-hand experience and certain things you can expect if you actually plan on playing this game. You know, the type of information that makes this 50-hour review worth it. Like, I'm sure you can tell by now that I've been using legendary crabs. In my first review, I didn't have a single legendary crab. Now I have all of them. Let me tell you about it. So I made that first review when I had about 20 hours of playtime. Well, I naturally got my first legendary crab at around 22 hours of playtime. This is why I grind my quests, because the more coins you have, the more stuff you get, including the chance of getting a new crab. I naturally got the second legendary crab at around 35 hours of playtime. At this point, I felt very comfortable with the OP crabs that I have, but I just really wanted that last legendary crab to have all three of them. And for the extra daily coins, cause, you know, I'm Jewish. So I actually saved up my pearls, the more premium currency in the game, and I just bought that last legendary crab. It cost 230 pearls, and I was saving up for a while, and I didn't want to have to wait to be lucky to unlock it, so I just bought it. I did this at around 45 hours, and it felt very worth it to me. I finally had every single crab in the game. But wait, no I didn't, and that's because this game had a massive update back in April. Updates don't come often, so it's a big deal, and this one had a new crab, which is the Candy Crab. Obviously not based on a real crab, but this neat little crab has a pretty cool ability that shrinks other crabs. You were able to buy him at release, but I just waited and naturally got him at about 50 hours. It took the tail end of my 50 hour playtime to get this new and last crab that I wanted to unlock and I finally did. I have every single crab in the game, that is until they release a new crab after this video. But this update added other cool things like new enemies such as sharks, crocodiles, seagulls, and even new bosses. They also added this cool new game mode where it's basically peaceful mode and players don't attack each other. Just the enemy crabs and AI. It's not a bad place for new players and to level up new crabs. Now the last big thing they added which I think is very controversial and that is the rocket launcher. I don't know if I have gameplay of it but this is seriously overpowered. I was already skeptical about shotguns and ranged weapons in general but this rocket launcher takes things to a whole new level. Like it really only takes one or two shots to kill most people, maybe three or four if they're really strong, but most of the time you can just kill someone from far away before they even had a chance. The one downside with ranged weapons is it's really easy to shoot random AI by accident and waste ammo which can be annoying, but it almost feels like a way of balancing these OP ranged weapons. Not a purposeful balance, but there are still very annoying and frustrating moments in this game. I feel the need to mention games where I can get really pissed off sometimes cause I'm typically not that type of gamer if you believe me, but some of the deaths in this game can really get to me. For example, I hate when random, strong enemy AI just targets you for no reason and uses their special ability and goes all in on you. 
It feels like this happens way too easily, and I'm sure there are other frustrating ways to die, but you guys get the point. The last thing I wanted to mention about the update is something negative, but that's what constructive criticism is for. As someone who gets lots of motivation from doing quests, I don't appreciate the removing of this quest meter where you are able to get basically a high quality supply box after completing a bunch of quests. Please bring that back. But I think that's about everything I wanted to mention in the review. Ending it on a bad note because they got rid of a good, consumer-friendly feature that I liked. You suck, Spilt Milk Studios. Nah, I'm just playing. Don't be mad at me, SMS. I was only joking about the insult, not the criticism. But for real, King of Crabs is a game I've enjoyed for many hours now, and I plan on going for that 75 or even 100 hour review if things keep going this well. I just really enjoy leveling up my crabs and doing quests and collecting coins way too much. All they have to do is keep updating the game every couple of months with new content like they have been, and I think I'll be good. I mean, I want the updates faster, but I hope you guys enjoyed the review. That should be about everything I wanted to say at this point, and if I forgot anything, I'll address it in my 75 hour review because that'll probably come out in a few months anyway. This is basically how I treat the multiplayer games that I play when reviewing them. I just make milestone review videos and discuss everything I can. But I'm only human, I think, and I forget some things, so I hope I talked and explained enough for this 50 hour review. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. These 50 hour reviews take some time and first hand experience, so please leave a like to support these kind of videos. Drop a comment telling me how many hours you have on this game if you played it, or just your opinion on it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more reviews and videos from me. Also check out the first review I did on King of Crabs for more context if you haven't seen it already. It really helps when you guys watch the entire video like you just did, so thank you for that, and I hope to see you guys in another video. Peace.